Thanks for staying with us. So Eid Mubarak to all our Muslim faithfuls. We're going to be showing some live pictures from Dutton Barracks where uh, our president, Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, GCFR, will be performing the prayer that marks the end of the Ramadan. We're going to be taking some pictures here now from Dutton Barracks as our president. Uh, I can see the deputy governor of uh, Lagos State, Dr. Um, Hamzat, also there. And uh, quite a number of government officials will be there performing the prayers at Dodon Barracks. So, um, you can see the former governor of Lagos State, uh, Mr. Fashola, Vatindi Raji Fashola is also there, amongst many others. Uh, Mr. Oyetola, that's the governor, former governor of Oshun State, uh, Oyetola there. And quite a number of others, we have um, other dignitaries there, all performing the final prayers to mark the end of Ramadan and celebration to all our Muslim brothers and sisters across the world, and spe especially to those on your view, uh, Nima, Akasha Tibiri, she's probably also on the prayer ground somewhere in Lagos right now, um, to all our other sisters here, Ramat, and Muyo. They are all also going to be praying today. So we're grateful to God for the 30 days of fasting of all our Muslim faithfuls, and we pray that the blessings of this season will abide with them and their families. Amen. Okay, so coming back to the studio now, um, we'd like to take in some calls to celebrate those of you who are celebrating. I know many of them are actually still praying. Others have left the praying ground. Mm -hmm. But it would be nice to celebrate the Eid with our Muslim faithfuls across the country, you can call us on 081-0764-1679-090-241-6340. You can also tweet to us at TVZ Connect. Those of you who are not Muslims, how are you celebrating the Eid today? Uh, what, are you, what are your plans today? Taking the children out. What plans do you have for today? Share with us. I'd like to hear your own thoughts. Um, let me start with you, Dami. I think basically for the celebration, um, unity is very important. Peace is more important because when there's peace, there will be unity. A lot of us do not practice what we preach. Mm. Um, I think a few days back I was on the Inter um, Intellectual Disability Conference and I spoke heavily on empathy. You don't know what the other person is going through. But we are quick to face religion. When it's time for Ramadan, we are like, ah, I want to be holy this period. After Ramadan, what next? After Easter, what next? Do you go back to your old self? of being the peevish kind of person? Do you go back to your old self of being the wayward kind of person? So some of this religion teaches us how to live an exemplary life. But it just feels to me that Nigeria just come holy during that season. I think that the Ramadan is not even as, as though as popular as the Lent for the Christians. We don't have so much attention on the Lent. In fact, sometimes you, if you don't see Ash Wednesday on people, you don't even know that yeah. Lent is going on. Yeah. On like how they've heavily invested on the teachings of Ramadan for even children, like um, TMO said, even children who have, they've been indoctrinated to know how to fast. So these things and the tenets of our religion, we know what it teaches us individually, either Christianity, um, traditionalist, or even Islam. But yeah. it is good that we always abide by the teachings of our religion. Yeah. If we so claim that we are religious in nature, let it reflect in our attitude during whatever season and beyond. Um, I, I just feel that um, the conversation around Ramadan is not a conversation that we can just because there's a lot of things a good good things that happened amaka highlighted the fact that there's a lot of food given but it is very sacrificial and i think that um it is something that we would all discuss from the perspective of this sacrifice that we're sacrificing to ensure that our hungry brothers and sisters do not continue to go to bed hungry we are able to sustain it. When you, um, and also the, the what, what I was in Dubai during the fasting period, it is there you realize that Nigerian, Nigerian Muslims are very hard working. No? Aha. Nigerian Muslims would be fasting and they would walk through the entire period. In, the, in Dubai, they will shut down at 11 in the morning and they will resume until after, they, like they will close their shops and fasting. They close shops at 12 and then they will resume after they have broken fast. Yes. So, because they felt like this is really um, exerting to be walking all through the yeah. day when you're not eating mm. and you can't drink water no. as well. So, I think that we should applaud um, those who have sus sustained the fasting from beginning to the end. Yeah, there was a video that Mariam sent. I'll come to you, Maka. There was a video that Mariam sent into the group that was 
um, Christians in UAE mm -hmm. opening up their churches for iftar, mm. which I thought was very instructive mm -hmm. of the unity that Dami talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. Because we don't see a lot of that happening here. Mm. We are un as a united people, the truth is that even the Christians during this season, it would have been very remarkable mm. if churches open up in the evenings for Muslims to have in the neighborhood to come and have somewhere to break their fast oh. for their iftar or to even pray because there are some people that will be praying outside on the streets because they need, there's no space in the mosques. Mm. So these are some of the unity that we must be seeing as a nation because we must also use this opportunity as an opportunity to, uh, this season as an opportunity to remind ourselves of how we are as a people. We are one. But politicians use religion to divide us. But we, the people, must be able to direct ourselves. And you know what? We must be united as, 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 as religious human and, and Nigerians in this country. What are your thoughts on, on okay, this? So, so let me come back to what you said um, about unity. Like a friend of mine, he's, he's Christian, mm. right? So he sent me some money and I added my own money to be able to feed um, people, the Muslims, during this, their fasting period. Yeah. Do you understand? That was a very remarkable thing. Wow. He's, he's Christian. But then, you know, he felt like that they, um, they need food, they need stuff you know, to support, not just the Christians, but Muslims. And then yeah. that's, that's also unity. And then back to also what she said about feeding, you know, sacrificial feeding during and giving during the the fasting period. period you know but it's one thing to is is important to be sacrificial but it's, it's also important to give within you know most times people, yeah yeah most times people want people to see that they are giving outside but then they're not taking care of what is inside like i have a friend she's christian but she's with a muslim and she was complaining to me bitterly like that see there are so many bills that needed to be paid this period so many things that, that they needed to do but well, this person is not even asking or sorting out the issue. Mm, charity begins at charity home. Charity begins at home. But instead, he's busy trying to say, oh, I'm feeding 200 people this season. Yeah. Whatever. Like, it's something of like a bragging thing. Oh, I'm doing yeah. this, I'm doing that. So no, but I think where do we the, draw the in line? In religion, mm. there are specific instructions that you must do mm. during the during season. This season. So, so it's not, it's not, it might not be because he wants to brag. Mm. Because he's trying to follow the tenets of Islam that says you have to give out certain, certain things. I, I, I think, I, I, I think the, the people are coming, they are hungry. No, oh, no, the little I know about it is that there is a, um, there's an attributed blessing during Ramadan when you feed people. And most times, even for those that cannot fast, mm. because I, I think uh, um, having to be a broadcaster and having Muslims around me, my partner, his father, my children, they have Muslim names mm. and all of that. So I learn. And I understand that during this season, it is particular, even if you are not fasting, mm. it is uh, I'm accrued of you to feed those who are fasting to get at, at least the exact amount of blessing mm. as though you were fasting. Right. So some things, some, like Mariah said, some things is the tenant. He doesn't want to lose out in that blessing. Mm. But also, we have to look inward. Yeah. Like you said, there's no accounting for the person that is doing outside exactly. that his house is leaking yeah. and you're patching other people's roof. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I, think, I, think, I think it's really instructing and I also want to use the opportunity to celebrate Nima the yeah. new show she hosted hey. this year, Iftar with Nima, was fabulous. Yes, you know, right. she Congratulations. Really, uh, Nima was, and um, uh, Elijah Doja, Ade Doja, yeah. with uh, Mr. Musa, Lukman Musa was a producer and best man. All the four of them was a four-man crew, mm -hmm. and they were able to come together and back-to-back -back every single day. And the reason why that show was created was because we felt that mm -hmm. a lot of Nigerians don't, we don't, we as Nigerians, we don't know each other. We don't, we don't know, Christians don't know Muslims, Muslims don't know Christians. And we, this, is, this was an opportunity for Christians to learn about Islam, to understand what is being done, the rituals during the season of Ramadan, the, all the various um, 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 sacrifices that had to be made, the various tenets of the, of the religion. religion. And that was what Nima focused on. And she also visited many people to break, their, break the uh, fast with fast. them. She had iftar with different families, got to talk to them, understand them, know them. It was a wonderful program. I'm really happy she was able to do it successfully. And I'm hoping that next year will be better. But and it was, idea, a really, it was a stretch for her. It was a stretch. It was growth was for her. As in, for me, I know Nima. N uh, Nima doesn't joke with this season. Nima's Ramadan is family time. Yeah. There's a lot of family responsibility. It was a huge sacrifice. And for me, I like the fact that you're celebrating the, what it cost her and the entire team to put it together because doing this, Muslims should extol it even much more because she's seeking to 
to democratize the knowledge that you people, some people have. A lot, so, so I, I've, I've learned a lot about Islam from being around Nima to realize that a lot, a lot of other Muslims I knew did not knew, and they, they, they were just, they were just Muslims practicing, by religion, pra practicing by the religion. They don't really understand it. And um, I've watched a few of the episodes. It was very educational. Mm -hmm. it, it, it gave you an understanding of what is going on behind the scene. And, well, I, I, I wanted to demystify Islam mm. to Nigerians. Now, listen, we are, we are all Nigerians, mm. and we must also respect and. Um, respect each other's choices, mm. religious like choices, Nigerians and it's personal. We became religion. Mm. And everybody is personal. Your religion is personal to you. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't you shouldn't determine how I treat you or how I judge you? You, it's your personal decision. We must have conversations based on our capabilities and abilities to socialize, not based on our religious religion. choices. Mm. Let me take this call. We're going to be wrapping up on this. Good morning. Thanks for calling. You're live. I'm here from London. You're live. Good Go morning. ahead, please. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm a first time caller. Welcome. Hello. Hello. First time caller from London. Yes. We just clapped for you. Go ahead. Hello. Hello. We can hear you clearly. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I really appreciate this topic to, you are taking, uh, taking on today. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. How are how is everybody? They are well. I'm sure Lima is not Lima is not there. We love it here today. It's thank nice. you very much. Yes, thank you. Okay, we're hoping to get more calls from Muslims yeah. celebrating. Uh, I'm sure Aramide is a Muslim. Maybe that's why she's just mm -hmm. grateful that we're celebrating. But it was important for us to bring it up today yeah. because the idea really is to celebrate. And I really hope this time next year we can talk about a church. Opening up its doors and also mosque open up their doors mm. for religious. I'm sure it already yeah. happens in some parts of the yeah. world in, of, of Nigeria. It, Nigeria. it might not be. It might not be Lagos. There are many I, I've seen before where um, some people, some Muslims were praying in a church open ground because the church had open ground. And I, I think it went, it, it's it was around. Um, I, it was in the southwest, but the video went out. It wasn't even about Ramadan. So I believe that this is already happening. But maybe we should talk more about it and not make it look like it is... is yeah, if, if, we, if we really look at it, like in the denomination where I worship as a Sianist, we have a lot of Muslims converted. Either ways, you like it. You have, yes, you have a lot of um, Sadiq, you have a lot of Hamzad, mm -hmm. you have a lot of Muslim names amongst us. Yeah. So I also think that because religion, we have to be we are first persons before we learn the religion. Mm. Uh, so the humanity aspect of it should not be taken away because of religion. Mm. Look at, for instance, what happened in Elori a few years back about the traditional worshippers clashing with... We are first yeah. human beings. Yeah. It wasn't necessary. To me, too, it wasn't necessary. Just let everybody their space to practice their religion. So far, it's not an hindrance to you yourself. That's the only way you can excuse yourself and say, okay, I'm not part of this. But we first before religion or exactly. before tribe. Humanity. Right, we have to Humanity. Humanity. this, but I think, yeah, Mama, can you no, I wanted to ask her, like, what's CNS? Yeah. Oh, Seraphim Seraphim and and Seraphim. Okay, oh, uh -huh. the White Garment oh, Church, which is different from Celestia. Okay, okay. It uh -huh. is? Yes, it is different from Celestia Church of yeah, Christ. It is, though. Uh, we're CNS, is different from Celestia. We Celestia. Wear because we, like wear we wear white garments. Like we wear CNS, slippers. Yes. When we get to the church, yes. we take off our slippers. Celestia don't wear slippers at, at all. all. Once they are wearing the white garments. And then, so yeah, guess what? I, I was part of people that never used to understand why CNS. They used to take off their CNS. Why they used to take off the shoes? So, recently, there's a movie that premiered on a... Oh, okay. uh, Netflix about uh, the Testament, the Book of Moses, mm. yeah. and then it was while well watching that movie. Holy Commandment. That, 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 that really, really that's dawned really on me that oh, this is yes, wow. that's the holy ground. Yes, it's the holy ground, and that's why most people. So the commandment of removing so really, and, and like so knowledge. 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 knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. So that's don't why people. Peter with Nima's show was really important because once you understand, yes. wow. but I remember there was a pastor I would never forget. Mm. I would never forget there was a pastor that was preaching on the pulpit many, many years ago. Mm. And he was saying that the fact that the Muslims kill ram, mm. that the, that ram is ritual, you should not eat it. Mm. That it is a ritual, they, they, they are, they are, they are, and what they are saying, they are, they are doing some incantations mm. before they kill the ram. And I remember that sermon. Mm. And then I was a very, very foolish, I was, I was from a Muslim background, so I knew it was not rituals. Mm. I knew, I, I was very clear, because He's I understand. knew what it was. Mm. So when this man was on the pool, and people were saying, ah, really? And I was, and I was saying, I'm going to my family house to go and eat. They say, ah, I was going to eat ritual. Ram. It's supposed to lack of information. Lack of information, yes. lack of That's knowledge. why it is important. There are people that are still thinking that way. Mm -hmm. Because what is being said is prayers. It's just like it's in Arabic. And suddenly Arabic. Their own and brain. Arabic is a language. It's a language. So, but in their own yeah, brain, it is ritual. It. Lack of understanding. I mean, 
So that's why it's important that we have these shows mm. to re-educate, yes. reorientate, so that we exactly. understand. It boxed and you make choices your own space. Go based out. on your understanding. Exactly. Absolutely. Which was very, very good. So I'm really happy. Congratulations to the entire team for this. Mm. And congratulations to the Muslim community for the completion of their fasting. And we're hoping... That Lent too. I know that Lent is also ongoing. No, and no. Uh, and no Lent, Lent is on. We've got done Easter. Done Easter. <laughs> you you okay. travelled. So you're not my brain. <laughs> you're not Christian. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. No, she's Christian. No, she's Christian. Christian. <laughs> so that, I'm not. Uh, Christian. I'm not orthodox. That's what I said because <laughs> not, the popularization not, of Lent is I'm not, not as much as Sorry. Ramadan. I know that that's why we have Easter. You see, my brain was not calculating mm -hmm. the whole that thing. My speech and the brain were not communicating. And that's But then we go on a short break. We come back. We bring in our special guest. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Paris, Paris, Paris. <laughs> Paris. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.